My name is Bill Hogan and I'm on the grounds department at Monroe County Community College in Monroe County, Michigan. The mission of the college is to provide higher, affordable, quality education to our local citizens. My name is Jack Burns. I'm the director of campus planning and facilities. Uh, we're a behind the scenes operation, so our goal is that no one notices that nothing's not working, so that all the upfront stuff like the instruction, uh, student services can happen without a glitch. My name is Justin Blaine. I work with grounds maintenance. Knowing that, you know, we're funded by our taxpayers, the mission for me is just making sure that they're, they're getting their tax money's worth and we're providing a safe place for their children to come and learn. We always aspire to have what we say summer-like um, conditions with our pedestrian walkways and stuff like that. We have a great range of ages on campus, so if we can maintain summer-like conditions, we know it's going to be safe from anybody from 14 to 90 years old. This year we started with the brine, which night and day difference from using salt versus the brine. That has played a big part in helping keep them like summer like conditions so we don't have students falling or slipping. We were visiting our local trade show for the snow expo and we met a gentleman from Farmington Hills, uh, Brian Pickworth. He, he invited us up to his property and showed us his facilities and gave us a good working knowledge of how the brine should be working and what we should be able to expect from it. And then we came back here and put together a very rudimentary system with a little trailer sprayer just to kind of get a, a, a trial of what it might do. Once we went out and we were spraying our sidewalks with just our little fabricated sprayer and we seen how well it worked with just what we were doing, we knew once we got the actual equipment on campus, how much more efficient it would be for us. We're always looking at ways to make our operations more efficient, um, more environmentally sustainable responsible so we do partner with our local utility provider for solar panels we help back feed the local grid we have switched over the last few years to a geothermal for a campus-wide heating and cooling which is again more environmentally responsible the salt brining process just kind of fell into that the reliability was very important to us because we are a smaller college so we don't have the funding just to keep going out and buying more equipment more equipment so when we were looking, that was one of our factors that we wanted to look at something that was going to last. The reliability with the Camion has been amazing so far. You know, we haven't had any issues and it's just been simple. The biggest thing that led us to Camion was the efficiency and the ease of how the brine actually gets applied to the surfaces. That's the Storm Commander. And it gives the operator, the, the driver of whatever vehicle you're utilizing, the ability to actually set how much brine you want to put down onto your surface. And I'm not an expert on it, but it, it basically takes the, the guesswork out of it for you. And no matter what configuration you're running on that, the operator has it very simple. Just drive where you want the brine to get put down and the storm commander does the rest for you. What we were doing before was throwing rock salt. So we were just covering our parking lots. We had no determination of how much salt we were actually throwing. So we would just go out and cover a lot and spend all that money. Where now that we have a system that is precise and you know how many gallons per acre you're putting down, we're seeing a, a return on investment just right there. Our money is working more efficiently for us and we're able to do more faster and we get a better response out of it. Yeah, absolutely, I would recommend Camion. I, I think everybody from K through 12, all up should be using the brine system with Camion. Being on the back side of the operations, back of house operations, we don't always have that interaction with the students, but when we see graduation commencement, you see the student walk across the stage, grab their diploma, that's why you're here. That's why you do your job. And it's a metaphor, obviously, we can't have summer in Michigan during winter time, but we're, we're pretty darn close to it. And I think that most people that come here to the, to the campus are able to feel safe and walk around and just admire the snow rather than actually navigate it. <laughs>